50 years back, 100 years back, when people used to fall ill, even then they would go to the local priest and he used to perform all kinds of wonderful miracles. He would beat someone up with some stick and the fellow would get cured. Cured as in cured of this worldly existence. Hmm? And at that time, it was considered medicine. Today, if you do that, you will say the fellow is so foolish, illiterate. full of superstition. But maybe even today in some remote interior part of the country it is still happening. If the matter refers to medicine, would you go to a priest or to a doctor? Hmm? Hmm. So if you have to talk about gases and environment, would you listen to the so-called religious people and priests or would you rather consult a scientist or environmentalist? Tell me. And when I say that you have to go to a scientist, that does not mean YouTube. Scientists are not found on YouTube. If you have to take the opinion of a scientist, Go to a proper scientific book or refer a research journal. What kind of scientific literature is this that certain people who were performing a certain ritual sacrifice got saved at the time of Bhopal gas tragedy and the poisonous gas could not impact them because they were performing a certain yagya or something else. What kind of science is this? Where does this science come to you from? WhatsApp, YouTube? I often ask people, how do you know this? They say, you know, science is proving this. Somebody, rather a lot of people have been telling me water has memory. A month or so back, it happened. Somebody asked me about it and a video was published. And I rubbished this thing. And a molecule is a molecule. What do you mean by memory? So people have been coming to me with proofs. And what proofs? The proofs are YouTube videos. It is news to me that now scientists publish themselves on YouTube. Scientists are not found on YouTube. Ha, pseudo scientists can be found. Scientific superstition can be found. Scientists are found elsewhere. Go to them and ask them. The matter is very simple. Elementary science would give you conclusive answers to the question that you have. So there is a certain chemical reaction happening, right? You say you pour ghee you put in dung and there must be some wood and some other material hmm? and then all of that is put to fire and then there is a flame and there are gases it is a very easy experiment it can be conducted even in a school laboratory a high school laboratory just collect the gases and analyze which gases are present and then ask yourself if this chemical reaction is producing nitrous oxide, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, various oxides of sulphur. A little bit of maybe methane, a lot of water vapor. How can it contribute to the cleansing of environment, bhai? How? How exactly? If anything, it will contribute to climate change. If anything, it will produce a lot of ash which will increase the amount of 
suspended particulate matter in the air i do not know of any gas that can purify the environment in markets you do have air purifiers but they are not purifiers air has a certain composition what do you mean by adding something to the air so that it gets purified what what, what kind of logic is this what kind of science is this even a class 6 student knows the chemical composition of air it's a mixture of gases gases combined in a certain proportion just mixed combined not in the sense of chemically reacting just mixed all the gases retain their individuality nitrogen is nitrogen oxygen is oxygen now there is 80% nitrogen in the air and if you add oxides of nitrogen to air how is air getting purified tell me and don't trust me on this because on this matter i cannot be an authority go and consult a scientist and there are so many scientists who are public figures as well who will be prepared to answer your questions online just send this query to them we have greatly reduced the religion and brought it down to the level of crass materialism why because we are material fellows what is the domain of religion what is the question that religion deals with religion does not deal with gases and material and fire and oxidation all that is not the rightful domain of religion religion deals with only one question what is this i what is it up to what does it want and why does it suffer religion deals only with ego and the liberation of ego if in the name of religion you find other things being discussed then this is the work of some fraud do you get this the proper domain of religion concerns just one question what is this ego this i why does it suffer and how can it be liberated from its suffering that's all finished instead if you find that religion is talking of other things then that is not religion that is some kind of tribal superstition